We begin tonight by hearing from homeowners who were picking up the pieces after the storm damaged so much. JT Saskowski was in Greene County near the scene of where one of those tornadoes touched down. He has you covered on the neighbors and friends coming together to find hope amid so much destruction. <laughs> John Albright has been doing a lot of laughing, which might seem strange considering the storm did this to his home and disrupted some big plans. Oh yeah, we were heading to Mexico today. Yet he's choosing to count his blessings. That's all you can do. <laughs> it is what it is. It's I have good insurance, I have a thousand dollar deductible, and I have an umbrella policy. Uh, everything's great. The winds leveled the three car garage that used to stand here, carrying the debris into the side of the house and dropping the twisted garage doors in the backyard. This mess here along the hillside is what's left of the garage and those sounds of chainsaws in the background are music to John's ears because that is the sign that people are coming out to help and it's left him feeling grateful and a little emotional. We have people coming 300 miles from up north to help. It's great. Yep. Sorry. Now chainsaws and extra hands from friends and neighbors are helping him pick up the pieces, a process he expects will take a while. Months and months. Um, yeah, and you can hear the chainsaws go in the background. I'm so fortunate I have great people. He's not just grateful for the help, but also that one structure the storm spared was this attached garage that houses his taxidermy business and that no one was hurt. There'll be another sunrise tomorrow. Everything will be good. In the town of Decatur, JT Saskowski, 27 News. Glad to see neighbors helping neighbors. Now, John was not home at the time of the storm. The only one in the house was his dog Attica, who made it out through a little shaken but unhurt.